Hi everyone, this is the third and last uh, video of hints on how to do this investigation. So this is the last part of uh, section B. And the thing is with this triangle, it looks a bit different because the centre point is not inside the triangle shape. But you can actually do the same thing as we did before. First you draw a line from the middle to the corners of the triangle like this. And once you've done those two lines, hopefully you will notice um, that this triangle here should look the same shape and size as one of the triangles you did in part one. So you can work out how many degrees is here. You can work out the number of degrees for both of those base angles as well. So that's your first triangle that you should work out. Your second one uh, is going to be found when I join up these two lines. And your second triangle is here. Okay, we worked this out earlier. That was um, that was 80 and that was 50 and 50. All right. Now the third triangle can be a bit tricky to spot, but you don't need any extra lines. You need to notice that this is your third triangle. It's your third isosceles triangle. And you can know the angle at the top there. I think we worked it out in one of the other videos. We said that's 120. So that bit, whoops. So this bit here is 120. And then this part would have been um, 80 and the other one is 80. Okay. The main goal, remember, is to find the interior angles of the triangle. So that one, that one, and that one. But that should help you out to get those final angles there. Because you should know, you should know this one. You should be able to find that one as well. Um, and uh, yeah, that's enough hints from me. Okay, good luck.